Hello everybody, my paper is Automated Software Vulnerabilities Detection, View, Pre-Treat Contact Encoder and self attention I'm Miss Lee. My presentation is in six parts. There are background, the purpose of this study, methodology, experiment and results, conclusion, acknowledgement. Firstly, it is background. With the increasing size and the complexity of modern software projects, it is almost impossible to discover all software vulnerability in time by manual analysis. Most exciting vulnerability detection methods rely on manual design of vulnerability features, which is costly and leads to have false positive risks. Pre-trained models for programming language have been used to gain dramatic improvements to code-related tasks, which considers syntactic level structure of code further. The purpose of this study, instead of current static analysis approaches, we treat the program source code as natural language and introduce the pre-trained, contextualized language model to capture the program local dependencies and learn better contextualized representation. Then we do propose an, an, now, an automated Vulnerability detection method based on pre trained contact encoder as well as self attention mechanism. Methodology Fig 1 shows an overview of our proposed method, which aims to automatically detect vulnerabilities in the source code level. It is divided into four main sections. It first transforms code gadgets into symbolic representation when the input data flows through the preprocessing stage. In the fine-tuning stage, it fine-tunes the related bird-based print-trained model by using the symbolic code gadgets extracted randomly from the training code gadgets. The output of the fine tuning stage is used as the model for representation learning in the next two stages. It transforms the symbolic form of source code into a real vector value in the rebinding stage. Finally, in the classifier training stage, the detection model is trained and will be applied to predict whether test samples are vulnerable or not. Pre-processing Instead of taking an entire code fill as input, a code gadget is a small code snippet acquired by using the program slicing technique. By encoding code gadgets in symbolic representation, user defined, defined variables and functions in code gadgets are mapped to the uniform symbolic form. In this type, it can not only retain semantic information, but also improve the efficiency of training and reduce unnecessary time and space cost of embeddings. As shown in Figure 2, the sample in the form of the source code is transformed into the symbolic representation in the pre-processing stage. In the fine-tuning stage, the released uh, bird-based pre-trained model is Leveraged to obtain the functioning model named vectorization, as illustrated in Figure 3, both pre-training and vectorization model have the same architectures. The model is first initialized with the same pre-trained parameters, then the sample 
Source codes extracted randomly are used to find turn point as different layers of the neural network can capture different syntax and semantic information. It requires us to select appropriate outputs used as a reference for fine, for fine tuning. Considering the overfitting problem, the value of the last layer is too close to the budget. Therefore, the outputs of the penultimate the layer are taken. During fine tuning, all parameters are fine tuned in vectorization model end to end. Vectorization model is applied to obtain the vector representation of context. Vectorization model takes the balanced sound codes as input, then outputs the vector representation after extract, extracting text features. In the SAA module, key parts in Vulnerabilities can be detected through the role of attention mechanism, and they are often import, important information for vulnerability classification. A typical network structure of the SAN module is shown in Figure 4. The inputs in Figure 4 are the vectors after embeddings, and these inputs will pass through the LSTM layers. Then, the attention layers are introduced into the handing layer to calculate the attention probability distribution value received from the LSTM layers. The output is the SAN module with ventured model parameters and the, the output of the detection phase is the classification results. Experiment and results. The data size used in this paper come from code gadget code, code get, 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 get database CGD, which includes the two data size as the samples. The buffer overflow vulnerability CWE119 and the resource management error variability CWE. 399. Each sample in the data size is small pieces of the C source code with about no vulnerabilities in software products. The number of samples is shown in each data site as flow in table 1. Each data site is divided into two parts by 4 to 1 where the larger part is used for training, and the other one is for detecting besides. Half of each training site is randomly selected from the training set for fine training. Table 2 summarized the partitioning of each data site where the second column represents the number of samples for training. The third column represents the number of samples for fine training, and the fourth column represents the number of samples for detection. In this paper, the hyperparameters turned for SAN learning are shown in table 3. The natural networks are implemented in Python using carriers and the distribute, distributed embedding are implemented from vectorization by fine tuning BERT. Our experiments were run, were run on, a mash, uh, on, a mash, on a machine with Titan V GPU. The comparison results are shown in Table 4. It's shown that the SAN module pro proposed in this paper is superior to the other strict classification models.
by comparing the table from top to bottom, it can be seen that the vulnerability detection effect of deep learning is significantly better than that of traditional machine learning method. FPR and F1 method of SAN are better than that of LSTM. Both models are used by LSTM neural network learn to extract key information of vulnerability source codes. But the difference between the two models is light. One is ended the rotation layer on the basis of the LSTM layer. The the cooperation between the both source light, the retention layer highlights import, import information to improve the performance. The experimental results of SAN are better than that of the GRU attention. The difference is that the first layer of the model is LSTM layer and the other is GRU layer through an analysis of the evaluation indexes. In this experiment, it can be seen that LSTM performs better than GRU in extracting key information of vulnerability characteristics in order to verify we refine the infection manners of fine tuning. We conduct comparative experiments with virtual vector and doctor to vector. Vectorization is the representation model that is obtained from the fine tuning stage. It can be seen from Table 5 that our method outperforms word to vector and the doctor to vector for the same data set. For examining the effectiveness of our method, we also perform a comparative comparative experiment with other pattern-based vulnerability detection systems. Open source to flow finder is the traditional vulnerability detection method based on stack analysis. Woody is elected because it represents it represents the approach based on code similarity. Woody picture and ours are the deep learning based system for vulnerability detection. Table six summarized the comparison. Our method after performs the other pattern-based vulnerability detection systems on the same data site. It indicates that transfer learning of fine-tuning models for representation can effectively improve the effect of vulnerability detection. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to use fine term board, board model for vulnerability representation. The above ex experimental results shows that our method can not only learn semantic meanings of water vulnerability source codes, but also learn high level concepts within the vulnerability source codes, such as semantic such as syntactic, syntactic structures and semantic rules. In this way, it has the ability to capture the features of vulnerabilities from contact and improve vulnerability detection. Conclusion this paper introduced a novel approach for detection vulnerability from source code and shows effective improvement, improvements when learning vulnerable programming patterns auto, automatically through fine-tuning the pre-trained model and applying it to embeddings. Our proposed method extracts Syntactic and semantic information of vulnerabilities in source code contact. It uh, leverages 
H, the level H. As the difficult in describing uh, the features of software vulnerabilities accurately and uh, provides precise information for vulnerability detection. The SAN module is used for learning and training vulnerability samples to get the detection model in our methods. Different from general LSTM without a tension layer, SAN can capture key parts of vulnerabilities and perform better on the precision. Where does exper experimental conclusions aim to provide some guidelines for research to choose narrow Neural networks in future variability detection studies, and it is shown that our method has been supreme, supreme to the state of the art methods. Acknowledgement This paper is supported by the major. Research project of National Nature Science Foundation of China, number one nine one nine four eight three zero three. Thank you.